Hello guys, you are welcome back to yet another episode of this series. Um, you guys haven't suggested another name of other series apart from Calvin Satirus Eat Up anyways, but you guys are welcome back. And yes, I want to just say this out quickly. I want to thank every single one of you that actually supports this and you know um you know compliments in the DMs, my voice and the you know the other valuable stuff. I really want to say thank you it's an honor and it's a privilege really for coming from a guy that truly doesn't rate himself so much um truly i, I really appreciate all right so back to being me ha <laughs> so um in this video we're going to be learning something that um i think there's a lot of requests for it um a lot of people have actually requested i'm going to be just be doing just one side of it because of time all right um i'm going to be showing you how you can blend your photo to background i think uh i think people call that color grading i i, I don't know the design terms i, I don't know anyways probably i need to go to design school so anyways yeah so how to or oh, how i blend um images to the background you know not making it look a little bit nice like like for instance this is the normal image here now see how it looks here all right it looks kind of like man it's so realistic like it's actually taken with the background you know i want to show you guys how i did that all right so first of all this background here is actually a gradient you can go and get it from canva um let's go to elements all right search for gradient and you're going to see this one here this particular one all right then you can just select it um i think this color is what i use here just that this uh purple i think this purple was a darker shade which is um 6e double o f f right and i'm actually going to repeat this again but anyways all right but for the other one i think um, i'm just gonna increase this uh increase 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 yep and now the colors used are yellow and yellow is f f f double c and o o no zero zero not o o really um and this one i think is this here all right and it is f f zero two six five um i think i actually now went over to flip and i flipped it no not like this yeah flipped it like that all right so back to the important stuff anyways this one actually looks kind of you know blended to the background but i want it to look more realistic right which is um the goal right so i'm gonna go to my suite adjust um adjust tool here and by, by the way um i sincerely do not know the meaning of almost all these things all i know is that i use them and I, I to be honest sometimes i don't know what they do i just use anything that makes you know makes it look nice i just had to get out there because i know there are some people that start thinking hey man gino is every single thing in this thing no <laughs> it just tries out stuff you know okay so for this one um basically what we can do is just maybe just increase the contrast here and and it actually helps because this the background and this image are already bright but i just want to increase the contrast yeah and increase the brightness a little bit sorry and increase the saturation not the brightness let's see how the brightness will look we know that it will look very bad if we reduce the brightness now i think reducing the brightness works for this one let's just reduce it to minus six all right um then i can also you now reduce this blur reducing the blur will actually make it sharper but it depends on the kind of image you're using right depends on the kind of image you're using so i really just see between minus five and minus ten all right don't overdo don't overdo resist the urge to overdo comrade <laughs> right so um yeah that's pretty much all almost all and i think the warmth of um because of how bright this background is it's better for me to increase the warmth than to actually reduce the warmth right if it was like this blue background here we can actually reduce the warmth right i think that would be, be much better talk in the next video because i think that would be much more much more like more illustrative because um this image is already bright so as you can see i'm not going to increase the warmth here and should i increase the clarity clarity will just make it look like the name says clarity but it has a way of making photos look so unrealistic so i do not use it yeah 
vibrant to be very good to use on a bright background so i can use this all right but the major thing here that will make this look realistic is shadows oh my god shadows are so important just watch this watch this it's <laughs> it makes it now so beautiful like you know it adds some kind of shades and everything when you reduce it adds a lot of shades and when you increase it it's you know ob obliterates those shades so i'm just going to reduce the shades here it looks kind of reddish and stuff but it, it looks kind of nice you know um fade do not use fade fade is ah, i think i'll just do another video for just fade um apparently i don't use it much because it's also kind of new to me and i'm still uh, if you guys have come the maybe ceo of or maybe the team lead of their tech whatever for them to upgrade some things i beg give me their number <laughs> anyway so that is it for this one yeah that is it for this one um then you can just we can just go ahead and just create a shadow for this all right i know i have some new audiences here so they'll probably not know how i create shadows so just reduce the brightness increase the contrast reduce the saturation and um i'm gonna now increase the blur all right just increase the blur it is not by force to increase the blur to 100 and try as much to make your shadow as realistic as possible right if you don't know how to make it realistic please do not use shadow uh, <laughs> please do not use shadow I say i'm saying please for some things do not use because i've experienced some people trying to just overdo <laughs> and if they're not asked then they say it's benji that taught them how anyways um then after doing that we can now go over here to transparency and kind of like reduce reduce this now see how awesome this looks right see how awesome this looks just going to go to here and i think we're going to increase the blur a little bit right and i think i'm just going to increase the transparency a little bit i'm just going to yeah right now see how that really nice is actually looks i'm going to reduce the shadow so it actually conforms with that shadow behind it oh wow that's a nice rhyme <laughs> yeah so okay i think this is actually so long even for a status video but I, i'm i'll try not to post anything on this particular day i'm going to be doing this all right so yeah until the next one the next one we are going to be walking with this background all right and it's going to be fun as usual um yeah i'm gonna see you guys in the next one all right bum 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 peace